Until recently, most general aviation aircraft were equipped with individual instruments which were utilized collectively to safely operate and maneuver the aircraft. Within the last 10 years, electronic flight displays made from LCD screens had begun to appear in nearly every new aircraft. The first screen is installed in front of the left seat pilot position and is referred to as the primary flight display, or PFD. The second screen, positioned approximately in the center of the instrument panel, is referred to as the multifunction display, or MFD. These two screens declutter instrument panels and increase safety. The increase in safety is due to the utilization of solid state instruments, which have a failure rate far less than those of conventional analog instruments, and the display of more situational awareness data that was not previously available. Whether an aircraft has analog or digital, commonly referred to as glass instruments, the instrumentation falls into three different categories, performance, control, and navigation. Performance instruments indicate the aircraft's actual performance at that time. Performance instruments include the altimeter, airspeed indicator, vertical speed indicator, or VSI, heading indicator, and turn and slip indicator. The performance instruments directly reflect the current performance of the aircraft. For instance, the speed of the aircraft can be referenced on the airspeed indicator. The altitude can be referenced on the altimeter. The aircraft's climb performance can be determined by referencing the VSI. Control instruments display immediate attitude and power changes and are calibrated to allow adjustments in precise increments. The primary instrument for attitude display is the attitude indicator. The control instruments do not indicate aircraft speed or altitude. In order to determine these variables and others, a pilot must reference the performance instruments. Navigation instruments indicate the position of the aircraft in relation to a selected navigation facility or navigational fix. This group of instruments includes various types of course indicators, range indicators, glide slope indicators, and bearing pointers. Newer aircraft with more technologically advanced instrumentation provide blended information giving the pilot more accurate positional information. Navigation instruments are comprised of indicators that display Global Positioning System, or GPS, VHF Omni Range, or VOR, Non-Directional Beacon, or NDB, and Instrument Landing System, or ILS, information. They also provide pilotage information so the aircraft can be maneuvered to keep it on a predetermined path. The pilotage information can be in either two or three dimensions relative to the ground-based or space-based navigation information. GPS is a satellite-based navigation system composed of a network of satellites placed into orbit by the United States Department of Defense. GPS works in all weather conditions anywhere in the world 24 hours a day. A GPS receiver must be locked onto the signal of at least three satellites to calculate a two-dimensional position, latitude and longitude, and track movement. With four or more satellites in view, the receiver can determine the user's three-dimensional position, which includes latitude, longitude, and altitude. We will discuss navigational stations, GPS navigation, and pilotage in a later lesson.